Hi, I'm Shreya and this is Decoding Code. In this video, we will talk about variables. And variables are so important because they store data. Now, if you've ever played an online game, then you know that you have to input a name for your character or your player. And that is actually using a variable because that piece of information that's your name is recorded and logged into the computer or whatever you're playing in. So those show up everywhere, you guys. And so that's why we'll be talking about them. Now, today we will be talking about primitive type variables because that's what this video is about. And there are eight types. Now, I have examples here of each type and I've sort of written them out and used uh, basic sort of calculations with them. And so it's just kind of to give you an example of what they are and what they can do. Now, bytes, shorts, integers, longs, floats, doubles, characters, and booleans are those eight types. Now, these all can do sort of different things, but some of them are similar to each other, but have different like capacities. Now, I'll explain this in more detail right now. So, bytes, shorts, integers, and longs are all uh, number variables, so they just store numbers. Bytes only store numbers from negative 2 to the 7th power to 2 to the 7th power minus 1. Shorts store numbers from negative 2 to the 15th power to 2 to the 15th power. Like, you can't do that in your head, but for bytes, that's negative 128 to 127. And so that's not a huge number, um, but when you get to long, you can see you can do something so huge as this, like, so many zeros. Um, so basically from bytes to longs, you can, it continuously gets to a larger number and you can go to the negatives as well. You can see I did negative uh, 200 here. Bytes are eight bits of information, shorts are 16, ints are 32, and longs are 64. Now all this means is that a bit is like the smallest kind of unit of binary. So there are like thousands of zeros and ones in binary, but a bit is one of those zeros or ones. So that's extremely amazing because there's so many, but then you can identify just one of them. Now if we go down to floats and doubles, these are numbers as well, but they store decimal points. And bytes to longs, bytes, shorts, integers, and longs don't store decimal places, but floats and doubles do. Now the difference between floats and doubles is that floats are 32-bit and doubles are 64-bit. Now if you can see in my doubles, uh, there are so many decimal places right here and it's very precise. So you can go and do lots of calculations and it basically, whether you use floats or doubles just kind of depends on what you're working with or what you're trying to do and how precise you need your numbers to be. If we go a little bit off topic for a second, most people when they are using numbers, they use integer because you can see it's a pretty big number that integers can go to, um, but it's not too big. So it's just kind of in the middle and you can use that for whatever you need to do. Now we come down to characters and booleans. Now you see these aren't numbers. So a character is just one character. Basically it's like S or C or R, and a character can't be more than one character. So those are characters. Now booleans are just one bit. So that's extremely exciting because booleans are just one bit. And there's like one bit in like thousands and millions of uh, like zeros and ones and it's just one zero or one. So it's basically just true or false and it can't do anything more than just true or false and it's really simple but it can be used for a couple of things in, in a, some places and you might not know before you start coding what you can use a boolean or a character for but they can be useful down the line. Now these are the eight primitive variables, you will notice you will probably use these variables a lot in your code. So just make sure you really understand them 
and you can really just, you know, get into them and know them. So if you're wondering how I did all of this and printed them out like this, the way that you make a variable is you do the type and then you name your variable and then you do equals the value of that variable. Now this is a whole nother story and I'm not gonna go into that right now but that's casting. But basically it's just that the computer thinks it's an integer but then you kind of have to specify that it's not an integer. I think that's actually it for this video. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And in my next video, I will actually be using the knowledge that I have uh, shown you guys through these past videos. So we will create a little tiny mini project and it will be super cool because we'll be using what we've learned. Make sure you watch that video so you know how to use the knowledge that you've learned and you can kind of see it in action. Uh, I will see you again next week with that new video. Bye!